I was diagnosed August 19th, 2009, um, day I'm sure every patient remembers very well. And um, at the time, I knew absolutely nothing about pancreatic cancer. I, it's not in my family. I never anticipated ever being faced with something like this. And I was numb, but the people around me managed to keep things going and determine the direction that we should go. Dr. Reber's name came up, and I w met him, my whole family. We went to meet him, and I was one of those fortunate ones who was operated on on September 14th, 2009. He turned me around as quick as he could. The way I found the Hirsch Hirschberg Foundation was through a friend of my daughter's who told her that she, she was also a physician, and she had found the Hirschberg Foundation to be a, a wonderful source of just information. So she related to my daughter, and my daughter and I came last year in order to just see what it was like, and we were just so pleased with the, the amount of information that we were, we were given. I wanted hard medical information, more than I was getting from my physicians. And I got it by listening to the research that was going on. And we were able to go home, talk about this information, um, how various ones of us perceived it and sifted through, and you know what lessons we took from it. And I find that the medical information is more exciting to me. I think I come back, and I came back this year, again, just to hear what the new findings are in the field. And I. I it's, it's the best source for me of really hard scientific research. And being as I, I was a researcher at UCLA, and I'm more comfortable when I can get a hold of some of the hard facts. With breast cancer, women that walk around and wear their pink ribbon, they're, they make the, the community more sensitive to the fact that, oh, here's somebody that had breast cancer and they lived. Maybe I'll pay attention to Breast Cancer Foundation. That doesn't happen that much with pancreatic people because they're not there anymore. So what happens is that the survivors have to carry the burden as to doing something about it. I think if we could get more things on television, a Jerry Lewis telethon, or you know that sort of thing, where you where you do bring attention to it, and it's the burden is going to have to be on the survivors, I think, until we can, because right now there's no cures, now they're talking about potential cures, but until that time happens, the burden has to be carried by others.